And if you're looking to get your car repaired these days, chances are you're going to have to wait a long time. Yeah, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the number of mechanics in the country is declining. Eight on your side, Xavier Harris joins us live with more on that. Xavier, they're having to do too much. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, guys. You know, the it, it, it's starting to become a huge issue. Now, I spoke with a mechanic here at Olin Mont on Kennedy Boulevard, and he says one of the reasons why the mechanic shortage is here is because most don't want to start from the bottom and work their way to the top. This is pretty difficult. Dusty Cox with Olin Mont on Kennedy Boulevard says his store is always looking for help but it's hard to keep them around. We've hired young people and that's their dream. You know, they want to be a mechanic. And the one thing they fail to understand is it takes years before you get to that level um, of on the job experience. You know, even if you go to school, to a technical school. Industry experts say mechanics are quitting the business because of low pay and the lack of a career path. Starting out depends on your skill level. You know, like we start our oil change tire guys, which are usually the guys that don't really have much business. They're just looking to get their foot in the door. And we pay them anywhere between 13 and 15 bucks an hour. According to carparts.com, each year the automotive industry needs to add 76,000 auto technicians. But trade schools are only turning out 37,000 new technicians per year. Some of these kids come out of school and they think they're just going to go straight into being, you know, a full fledged mechanic and making lots of money. But with the way these cars are today and the technology that they have, it, 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 it's going to take you quite a bit of time to get that experience to be a good technician. Cox says another issue is staffing at the warehouses where car parts are manufactured. I order parts sometimes, which normally, you know, a couple years ago would be readily available. Now we're waiting, you know, three days a week, two weeks. Uh, but I've been waiting on one intake from Ford for about two months now, and it's still on back order. He says if America doesn't address this issue, We'll see fewer and fewer cars on the roads. Now, Cox says he's seen a mechanic shortage in the past, and he has high hopes that it will get back to normal. Well, Xavier, I know that there's also there is the mechanic issue, the shortage there, but we're also looking at a car part shortage, and you're actually going through this right now, right? Uh, that's exactly right. Take a look behind me here. This is my Jeep here. Um, and this part right here is a coolant reservoir. Now, I've checked here in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and even Tennessee, and no one has them. They're either on back order or they're all sold out. And this keeps your car from overheating. Um, now, mechanics tell me things like that are common all the time as of right now because of those folks in those factories. They're understaffed and they don't have people to send those parts out to the stores to get them out to the customers like myself. Mm. This morning we're live in Tampa. Xavier Harris, 8 on your side. All right, hope you can find some relief soon. Thanks, Xavier. <laughs>